We've been hearing rumblings and rumors of a sequel series to Star Wars Rebels for months now, ever since the return of the Clone Wars in Season 7. Several months back, it was revealed that a Rebels sequel series was apparently in development over at Lucasfilm, based on the massive success of the Clone Wars, and that the season would actually be done in the Clone Wars style. However, today we're receiving reports from Kessel Run Transmissions, the original report of the Rebels sequel series, that it has now apparently been scrapped, or at the very least put on the back burner, and that they do not expect to see a sequel sequel series to Star Wars Rebels anytime soon, which is unfortunate news. However, the news isn't all bad, as according to the report, a lot of the characters and stories for the sequel series will actually be integrated into the Ahsoka live action show. Before we get into more details though, according to my analytics, a lot of you guys that watch the channel haven't actually subscribed yet, so if you've been enjoying the content and would like to see more, force choke that subscribe button. Also, if we could get this video to 4,000 likes, that would be great. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue on with the news. Obviously, timeline lies, we learned that Ahsoka Tano series would take place during the era of the Mandalorian, and Rebels of course carried all the way into Return of the Jedi, meaning that if there was going to be a sequel series to Rebels and Ahsoka, they would be taking place around the same time period. So instead of having that occur, they decided to take a lot of the story details and characters such as likely Thrawn and Ezra and integrate them into the Ahsoka Tano series, instead of focusing on them in Star Wars Rebels, with the Ahsoka series being the main reason why the Rebel series has thus far been scrapped. These are the full quotes from Kessel Run Transmissions. There has been a conversation between Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni as to whether this live action Rebel sequel is going to be live action or animated, but it sounds like the way the conversation has gone that the Rebel sequel being live action, and that specifically being the Ahsoka series on Disney+, and with the two projects being one and the same. That being said, this is not the end for Ahsoka in animation. From what we've heard, John has successfully convinced Filoni to tell the next chapter of Ahsoka's journey specifically in tie-ins with Rebels in live action. The next part of the journey is going to be told in that way. Basically, the Rebels sequel was already in production, even eyeing a November 2020 release date. Taylor Gray even recorded lines for Ezra Bridger already. But after the success of The Mandalorian Season 1, that's where Jon was like, okay, we can bring these characters into live action and tell the story this way. I do feel like this news is very much bittersweet, and I do want to see Star Wars continue on with animation. But it does make sense that Jon Favreau would be the one to convince Dave Filoni that he can tell the stories that he wanted to tell in a sequel series to Rebels in live action, and have it be even more successful than the animation. Again though, past the Bad Batch, I would like to see more Star Wars animated shows, exploring potentially unknown eras in the Star Wars mythos, such as the High Republic, and I would eventually like to see a Rebels sequel series, even if it means Ahsoka Tano is not heavily featured, although unfortunately that does not seem to be the plan. Anyway guys, what are your thoughts on this, and how do you feel about the Rebels sequel series actually being scrapped, but a lot of the stories and plans for that being told in the Ahsoka Tano live action show? After proof in the first and second season of The Mandalorian that these characters can carry over successfully. As always my friends, thank you so much for watching the video. May the force be with you and have a great day.